Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead. I've tried to make this video several times now and I have to stop every time because I have a coughing fit. So we're going to try this again and if I have to stop and take a drink of water, just bear with me. I'm getting over a cold and my voice is trying to go, but I really want you guys to go snag these deals. And I'm going to show you in this video because this one's going to be a little bit different than my usual grocery hauls. For the first part, it's kind of small. But for the second part, I'm going to show you how huge of a savings I got on this small haul of sale ad groceries. You may not realize just how much money you can save, even on little bits here and there, but we're going to go over that today. I'm going to show you each of the sale ads that I did hit at 10 Box Aldi and Kroger this week. And I'm going to show you the prices that I paid for the items that I picked up on sale. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what my total cost was versus what my total cost would have been if I had just walked into Walmart, done a one stop shopping trip and purchase these same items at Walmart off the shelf. And I thought it was pretty neat and I hope you guys do too. But so we're gonna talk about those three stores and the deals that I picked up this week. And then my Azure Standard Haul is gonna be on here as well. And uh, I think it's gonna be interesting and I hope it's something you guys can take advantage of. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna start off down here at the very end at 10 box. 10 box I always hit it first it is just a local chain of grocery stores and what they do you let me open up the sale bill here real quick they offer sales but they do add a 10 percent upcharge at the register whenever you check out so whenever I'm looking at their sale bill I always have to make certain that it is still a good price even after that 10 percent is added on to there and there are a few things that I saw on sale this week that I wanted to pass along to you guys. One was this 73% ground beef at $2.37 a pound. I did not purchase any, but that is a good price. Even with the 10% added onto there, that is a good price. Um, in comparison, at Walmart, it's currently selling for $3.28 a pound. So that is a good deal if you have a 10 box near you. Now they're chicken drumsticks, 62 cents a pound. And even with the 10% added on, it comes to 68 cents a pound when you add in the 10%. As a comparison, Walmart is currently $1.19 per pound. So this would be a time to stock up on these things if you need them. I do not have a single bit of extra freezer space right now because it's deer season and we are keeping that space for deer that we get. So I did not get any, but I did take advantage of the Honey Crisp apples. Honey Crisp apples always cost more per pound than, say, Gala apples. Um, I've been able to get Gala apples for about 66 cents per pound. These here are 92 cents per pound this week. And even with the 10% added on, it is still a very good price for Honey Crisp apples. As a comparison, Walmart has them for $1.97 per pound right now. So what I did is I did go in and buy three bags of the Honey Crisp. These are our favorite fresh eating apple. And so I got these just for eating fresh with snacks for the rest of the week. Um, these prices also here at 10 Box Aldi and Kroger, these sale prices that I'm going to show you are all good through Tuesday, November 28th. So be sure to take advantage of these if you have these same sales running in your area. My grand total at 10 Box, just for the apples, came to $12.87 this week. Okay, Aldi was a small haul as well this week, but um, still I did get some good deals. I did go ahead and pick up the avocados. The avocados here are on sale at Aldi this week for 49 cents each, which is a good deal considering 
um, Walmart currently. They're selling for 74 cents each. So I did go ahead and pick up 20 of those. And what we'll do with those is 15 of them, we will turn into a big monster batch of guacamole. And we'll have a big Mexican feast with our supper next week. And then we'll have, you know, five extras or so just for slicing up on the side uh, with fried eggs or something in the morning at breakfast. So um, I did it like picking those up. The bananas, I don't know why, but bananas have been marked down to 23 cents a pound at my Aldi. So I did pick up two bundles of those. That is actually a stock up price for me, but I do not have the freezer space right now to deal with them. And with us all being sick, a lot of times I would dehydrate them. I just don't feel like it. I don't have the capacity to do that right now. But if you do that 23 cents a pound, that is a stock up price for preserving bananas. So please take advantage of that if you can. Um, mine did have the cranberries still for 99 cents a baggie. And um, so I went ahead and picked up five more of these. We make cranberry muffins out of these, but Sarah's also wanting to can cranberry juice this year. So I picked up five of those. And the last sale item that I purchased was the zucchini. They have it at Aldi for $1.29 a pound. And we just like making Parmesan, Parmesan zucchini. It's roasted zucchini with Parmesan cheese on top. And we like that as a side dish. So this will be part of supper next week. The other item that Aldi does have on sale is the four pound bags of the navel oranges for $2.99. That is a good deal. And I'm going to tell you that I took a gamble and intended to get those at Kroger. So I skipped them at Aldi because Kroger has them for the exact same price this week. And I thought I'm going to get them at Kroger and use a produce coupon and get extra fuel points by doing them at Kroger. And the gamble did not pay off because my Kroger was out of stock on them. So now I wish I would have picked them up at Aldi, but I did not. So just know in your area that you may have options of getting them. Sorry, I'm getting a tickle. <laughs> of getting them either at Aldi or Kroger. All right, got a drink of water here. Hopefully I'll make it for a little bit more. My grand total at Aldi was $21.31 for these little few items right here. And then we're going to move on to Kroger. Okay, at Kroger, like I said, they do have the oranges there, same as Aldi, four pounds for $2.99, and I meant to get them at Kroger, but they were out of stock, so you may do that at yours. Now, what they did have that I was surprised, the cereal, the Life cereal is what I chose to get for the 99 cents a box. These are 13 ounce boxes and 99 cents just as a comparison aldi has their generic life cereal for two dollars and 15 cents a box so 99 cents is a good deal this is a digital coupon so there is a limit of five and again these sales are good through tuesday november 28th the other really good sale item is this uh, rice-a-roni, pasta -roni stuff for $0.79. Cents. Also a digital coupon, so there is a limit of five. I did go ahead and get five of these. This is not something we typically eat, but this is a quick, easy, convenient emergency prep food that I like to get when it is on sale. And just as a price comparison, Walmart currently has these for $1.28 a box. So $0.79 cents is a good deal. Then I stumbled across these <clears throat> on Markdown for $2.49. Going to get a drink of water here. Sorry, guys. I'm actually here at the table with the water just sitting right here so I can stop and take a drink as I need to. So I bought these knowing that they were on Markdown but also that I had e-coupons on my Kroger card 
Sometimes they come off when there's a markdown or a sale, and sometimes they don't. In this case, they did. So I had uh, two coupons for a dollar off. So I actually received this one for a dollar forty-nine, and this one for a dollar forty-nine. And there are four in each package here. Um, so that was a really good deal on those yogurts. And then the ground beef. This is one where I did take the gamble and it did not pay off. So Kroger has this on sale. Let me see, where is it at? $2.99 a pound. It's a three pound roll of the 73% ground beef for $2.99 a pound. It is a digital coupon, so there is a limit of five. I went in there intending to only get one because Two ninety nine a pound, but I had an e coupon just like I did here. These worked. This one did not because my e coupon was for an additional dollar twenty five off. And when I did the calculations, if that coupon had come off, I would have received this for two dollars and fifty seven cents a pound. And two fifty seven a pound is a really good deal. However, the e-coupon did not come off on this. But so I did pay $2.99 a pound for the ground beef. That is okay. I would have been better off getting it down here at 10 bucks at that other price that I showed you. But it just is what it is at this point. Sometimes I gamble and it works, and sometimes I gamble and it doesn't work. But I'll show you here at the end. It all evens out in the long run. It all ends up okay. So, um, there are also uh, four times the fuel points on gift cards still. If you are doing gift shopping for people, take advantage of that. You'll need to clip the digital coupon. But whenever you purchase a gift card at Kroger, you will then get four times the fuel points when you do that. And that is going on through December 5th. So, uh, my grand total at Kroger today came to $22.04 for the beef, yogurt, uh, pasta, and the cereal. So, what I'm going to do next is go through my little Azure Standard Hall. And then we're going to sit down with my clipboard there and go through the price comparison of sale items versus just uh, keep it simple and buy it from Walmart. All right, my Azure standard haul for this month was real quick and simple, just five items. I did get another 25 pound bag of the organic, unbleached, all-purpose flour. And for this bag, I paid $29.74. The oats, I did get a 25 pound bag of just rolled oats. And this was $17.22 for 25 pounds. I did pick up some beets. We really do enjoy these. Um, what I do is I will boil them and then strain the water out when they're good and soft. I will peel the skins off the beets and put them into cubes. And then uh, drizzle them with just some extra virgin olive oil and salt. And the mixture of the red beets and the golden beets together makes for a beautiful side dish. But these are five pound bags. The golden beets are more expensive at $10.75 for the five pounds. Whereas the regular red beets are $7.80 for the five pounds. So, and these will last us a while. They keep in the refrigerator quite a while. And then the cream of tartar. I need to build up my stockpile again of my cream of tartar. We use this to make homemade baking powder. And I'll put a link in the description box for the video that we made on how to make your own homemade baking powder. And this is a one pound bag for $9. Sorry, getting a tickle. $9.93. So now we're going to sit down with the clipboard and go through what these totals would look like if these were Walmart purchases. All right, let's look at my handy dandy clipboard here together and look at here are the items that I purchased, the apples at 10 bucks, bananas, avocados, cranberries, and zucchini at Aldi, 
then the cereal, pasta, yogurt, and ground beef at Kroger. And here's the prices that I paid today. These are the ones that I showed you in the sale ad, or they were the good deals there at the store. And then I went online, just walmart.com, and looked at my local Walmart, what the price would have been if I had been in there and purchased the items. The only one I couldn't find an exact match for was the Life Cereal, because Walmart did not carry the 13 ounce boxes like what I got at Kroger today. So what I did is I just used, they had their best price was this 18 cents an ounce, and I just did the multiplication, and this is what the cost would have been for the same number of ounces of cereal. So you can see here the grand total, the subtotal, I'm not counting tax, the subtotal that I paid today was $53.35. If I had gone into Walmart to buy all of these items right here on this end of the table, I would have paid not $53, I would have paid $88.43 if I had walked into Walmart and paid regular Walmart prices in my local area for these items, which is a difference of $35.08, you guys. I, there's not much stuff here. This is not a huge grocery haul for me. If you've watched my other videos, I will sometimes have the table loaded down and then we bring a card table in here too sometimes and set a card table up here for more things. So this is small and to have this big of a savings on this small order just, I thought that was something. I also wanted to point out the mileage because some have questioned, are you really saving money if you're hopping from one store to another and to another? And I did pay attention to my mileage. If I stop at 10 bucks and then I end up at Kroger, it's a total of three miles. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm back. Okay. So if I go from 10 bucks to Aldi and then Kroger, it is a grand total of three miles from one store to the end. So three miles, and I did the calculations, I will use 0.158 gallons of gas in order to travel those three miles in my minivan. Current price of gas here is about $2.89 a gallon, although we did get gas for $2.29 a gallon just uh, yesterday because I had Kroger fuel points, but I did the calculations at $2.89 a gallon, which means to travel those three miles, I used about 46 cents in fuel. So it was not enough to offset the savings that I did get by traveling to the different stores. So I just wanted to share this with you guys to encourage you that you can really, really stretch your grocery budget by watching these sale ads and just picking up the loss leader items that are in the sale ads. It can truly make a huge difference. And also, if your area has the same sale ads as mine, you don't even have to spend the time researching it. Just, you know, if you're eating similarly to us, then just take the things that I'm getting and run with it. <laughs> Show up at the store, buy them, and be done. And then you have a time savings there as well. So I really just wanted to share that with you guys that, that maybe need more proof than just, you know, some strange woman with a cough <laughs> on the internet just taking her word for it. Okay, so at this point, um, those of you that um, have watched our past videos, we're going to sit down and go over what my monthly budget started with, what I have spent so far, and how this week's purchases affect my monthly budget. Where do we stand now with the $1,100 that I started off with to feed our family of nine for this pay period? Okay, guys. Thank you for bearing with me here. I'm going to grab my water. It's almost gone. <laughs> and see if we can get through this part of it <clears throat> without me having another coughing fit. So um, I have my handy dandy clipboard here. And we started off the pay period with $1,100. 
Um, for our family of nine, that breaks down to be about $122 per person to cover all of our groceries and household go goods for the month. And the first thing I do at the beginning of the pay period is a big stock up where I go through all my pantries and freezers and I top off everything. And when I did that, it was $388 or so, which brought us down last week. If you watched last week's video, we ended with $711.83 left in the budget. <clears throat> now, if you also watch last week's video, you'll know that my Kroger was out of sweet potatoes when I went in there. So I did send Sean in later on to get some sweet potatoes. And he also bought some special Caesar salad kits that were on markdown last week. And that total came to $21.57. So this week when I went into town, what I had left in my grocery budget was $690.26. All the things that I showed you here on the table behind me, I paid out of pocket $56.22. That's tax and everything. So my grand total this week now, what I'm left with for the remainder of the pay period is $634.04. Um, as far as the Azure Standard goes, I have a credit on my account, and so I did not have anything out of pocket for my Azure Standard items. In the past, I have received blessings of gift cards from viewers. Um, I don't know if many of you know, but I do volunteer with our local Azure Standard group as the drop coordinator, and the company then gives me a small credit on my account for volunteering in that role. So I did not have anything out of pocket for my little Azure Standard haul this month. So what needs to come out of the $634.04 that are left over? Um, I have a Sam's Club haul. I've actually already purchased that, but I haven't filmed the video for you guys yet. So all my Sam's Club stuff is sitting here behind the camera in my kitchen <laughs> because I can't put it away until I film it for you guys. So that needs to come out of here. And then there are still two weeks of sales that need to come out of this amount as well. But I mean, I should be good. $634 should be sufficient to cover a Sam's Club stock up for me and two more weekly sale ad periods. Um, I just really want to encourage you guys that it is possible to eat well on a smaller grocery budget, especially as inflation kicks into gear, guys, and we all have to tighten our, tighten our belts, tighten our grocery budgets there. It can be done. There are things that we can do. Just it might take a little research and a little time and a little creativity and a little gambling, <laughs> which sometimes pays off like it did on the yogurt and sometimes it doesn't like it did on the ground beef for me this week. But um, I just want to give you guys some hope that uh, we can do this and we can be creative and we can help one another out and it's all going to be good. So if you liked today's video guys please give me a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed and if you could tell your family and friends to watch ozark family homestead it'll help our family's channel grow so i appreciate you all so much and i will see you on the next video bye guys thanks for watching ozark family homestead Bye.